YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, your guide in DIY multimedia production. Here again today with a little tutorial on Q Tractor. I just wanted to go over something that I was reading about in a forum, and I was wondering this myself, and I thought I would make a little tutorial about it since I figured it out. And it's one of those things that's a little bit different in Q Tractor than other programs. And what that is, is if you are recording a MIDI track, like a MIDI drum track or something like that, and you're doing it kind of piece by piece, and you want to overdub MIDI parts on the same track, and the way Q Tractor does this, it actually overdubs a new MIDI track on top of the old one. And so you end up with a bunch of MIDI, basically a bunch of MIDI tracks on top of each other. And uh, that can be not really what you want uh, if you want to do like quantizing and things like that. Um, so what you need to do actually is record something and then when you overdub something over top of it, you need to merge those two uh, recordings together, which is pretty easy to do. Um, it'd be nice if it, you could just record right into the same uh, MIDI clip uh, without having to do that, but uh, it is something that's workable. So I, I figured I'd just uh, show you guys how to do this real quick. And first off, what we're going to do, I already have a sound font loaded on here and it's my Tama imperial star drum set so i'm going to record like a kick and snare pattern first and uh and then we'll overdub some hi-hats and then i'll show you how to do it where the hell's my snare there it is <laughs> let me try that again undo that Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and quantize this. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And okay, so now let's put some ride symbol on there and you'll see how it just records another track over top of it but that's okay okay Okay, so now we see that we have the ride track and the other track is basically, you know, they're on the same channel, but they're not together. They're not in one track. So to select everything in that track is you just basically, it's like the same as selecting a, a loop uh, area. You just hide or grab the top up here. Oops. And you just drag this little uh, slider over to the end. And it took me many tries to figure out the right way to select, uh, you know, the both tracks with the one under it and all of that. But that seems to do it. So if you drag above like that, then you go to clip, you go to merge. You can see all my various tries there. And then you click OK. Then it merges that clip together into one single track. So let's go ahead and play it back. All right, hopefully uh, that helped you out. I know that was kind of driving me crazy a little bit. And this is something, you know, uh, Rui, if you're watching this video, it'd be really cool if you could just overdub right on that same track. Uh, but, you know, I, we're really appreciative of the software. Either way, it's still really cool. But uh, future release, maybe it'd be something cool to have in there. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, if you guys uh, have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if this video was helpful, subscribe and click like, and I'll see you guys next time.